my name is Shelby Jackson. I'm uh, working on Project U here in Des Moines, Iowa, and my, with my adult leader, Mrs. Marchant. I'd like to thank America's Promise Alliance and AT&T for giving us the opportunity to not only have the grant, but also to report back on all of the achievements we've made this year. <coughs> um, one of the big things we've done this year is peer mentoring, to, brought peer mentoring to East High School. Um, so we've uh, also done some youth incentive and youth engagement pieces, and we've also done the youth venture project, and we've done a lot of great experiences for our school youths. So one of the big pieces we've done this year is Scarlet Mentors, which is our peer mentoring uh, group. Um, what we've done this year is we've built a strong foundation for the years to come, and we've also kind of started working on next year as well. Um, what we've done is we've taken uh, freshmen who were at our freshman building and kind of given them the opportunity to have an upperclassman, a junior or a senior, as a friend, and not only as a friend, but as somebody they can look to to ask questions and advice from. Um, it was a big eye-opener between... Me, uh, between the mentors and the mentees, um, what we've done is we've opened up our eyes to see kind of where we're going and kind of what can happen when we look and see what we're doing at this school. How we can be more involved, how we can be more knowing of what's going on in our community. Um, we'd like to thank AT&T again for offering us a job shadowing opportunity at the Capitol. Um, We'd also like to mention that we've not only had 30 students roughly in the group, but we've also trained all 30 of the mentors to be able to be uh, trained mentors. That way we can have them be mentors later on or they can come back and help. Um, we've also done a couple of leadership trainings where we've gotten together and we've learned what kind of leaders we are and what kind of leadership skills that we need to have if we want to be a good leader. Um, we also went to Adventureland Day at the end of the year. It was kind of our end of the year celebration, and we did a bunch of riding rides and kind of getting to know each other just a little bit better outside of the school. Um, we also had a freshman say that one of the big things they wanted to do was not only be a part of the mentee, uh, Scarlet Mentors next year, but they also wanted to be a mentor when they became a junior and senior. And for a lot of kids to agree with that out of the mentees, I think that means we're getting progress on the years to come and it's a big thing to have. One of the last things we did as Scarlet Mentors was we decided to be uh, recognize a teacher for being an outstanding person. And pretty much what that was, was that we wanted to show the teacher that we it doesn't take just students or administration, it takes teachers to be good and to be a person who we not only want to look at to be later on in life, but also who we believe believes in us to get along. So um, one of the people we recognize this year as our outstanding teacher was Mrs. McPherson. She's actually a senior English teacher, and a lot of the seniors, she's a, also a sophomore English teacher, and a lot of the kids had decided, you know, without her, a lot of the kids had, you know, wouldn't probably have that English credit that they needed. One of the big pieces that we've done this year is youth engagement and youth incentives. So um, what we've done is we've gotten a grill for the school and the community to get together and uh, praise what we've done. So like um, community to come in and praise that we've all gotten a really good score on our ITBS this year or the, all of the juniors did a really great job on their ACT. Um, it's also one of the good thing for certain groups to use. So um, ASL, which is our academic support lab, is also kind of wanting to have a little bit to do with the grant. Um, with the grant money, we are actually sat down and talked to our administrative, and we actually were able to buy ATV to um, kind of bring information to the academic support lab, who spent a lot of their day in this one room, and um, kind of help them out by knowing what's going on in the school, what the bulletin's like that day. Um, we've also gotten uh, what ASL is, is it's for students that are undercredited or have been past the dropout, and they're coming back and they're trying to find their way again and trying to make sure that they do graduate and they get their diploma. Um, what we want them to do is to be able to have ownership and to belong with a group. So we've also gotten them some t-shirts so that when they pass so many of their courses and when they get so many of their credits back, they can actually get a t-shirt to be able to say, you know, I've done this, you know, I'm a part of this group and I'm a part of what I'm trying to do here at East High. And, uh, what the entire group wants them to do is not only to be here, but to graduate on time. Um, we've also gotten them a Wii 
for the PE credit that they can use with the TV. Um, it's a big incentive because of the fact being that a lot of kids don't get to graduate from high school because they don't have that PE credit. And it's awesome for them to be able to earn that credit now here in their academic support lab. Um, some other things we've done is we've gotten some more cameras and video cameras so that we could do more reporting on kind of what's going on in the school and what's uh, some big things. And we've also gotten some dropout prevention ideas working for next year, like uh, the piece that we're calling if I had confidence, I would, and you kind of talk about what your confidence would be and other things that you would do. All right, we're the teachers of the Academic Support Lab here at East High School, and what our mission is is to help undercredited juniors and seniors earn enough credits in order to graduate, especially with our classes. Our goal is to get every senior um, a diploma, a high school diploma, and that's really important to us. And so we do a lot of different things in order to allow that to happen. Um, as far as within the classroom for dropout prevention, uh, we celebrate victories as uh, small as you know, finishing a class, coming to school, because um, that needs to be celebrated with a lot of these kids. Um, we get them in contact with other support services in the building, success, counselors if they need that. Um, just kind of create a real family environment um, so they know that they're welcome here at school. Um, try to get them coming active back at school um, so they can earn that high school diploma. Uh, and with the dropout prevention grant, we've got money to purchase a TV and a Wii to help our kids earn PE credit. Um, since PE isn't typically offered over the summer, it's a great opportunity, especially this summer and going forward, uh, for them to help catch up. Um, we also purchase a grill so we can have kind of grill out parties uh, as incentives for when they pass so many classes. Um, we also got some t shirts so we have a little um, academic support lab pride. and. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So one of the other big things we've done this year is a We a Youth Venture Challenge. And what we've done is we've mobilized other students to make climate change in our school. Um, so some of the things that we've done is that we've gotten students more involved in the school that wouldn't have been involved otherwise. Um, what we've accomplished through this was that GSA, uh, Gay Straight Alliance, has uh, done a poster campaign for anti-bullying and what they've done is they've gone from a 10 member group to a 50 member group which is a really big deal here because a lot of our students are experiencing different kinds of uh, outlets. Um, one of the other things we've done is culture clash which is uh, making the school more culture aware. We have a very diverse school and not knowing what every race ever, that runs through our school kind of makes us weaker as a group. Um, so what they've done is they've brought in like a bread breaking workshop where we've learned how food uh, bridges for cult is a bridge for other cultures. And the last group was called Flipped, and what they've done is they've made it possible for girls to be able to go to prom and be able to be involved in that school activity that's a big part of our life. And for that, to have that piece, knowing that girls can now go to prom and be involved in prom, it's a big deal for our uh, community and our school. One of our other things that we've done is we've done uh, Second, a fourth youth venture, which is where the group had decided to support the Jefferson Awards Council, which is our old advisory group. And what they're doing is they did a uh, don't drive and text, don't drive and text campaign. And what that is is they've gotten us thumb bands, and what we do is we wear them, obviously, and it helps students that do drive stay off their phone while they're driving and keeps them more safe and aware of what's going on.